Yeah, we've got really great temperatures coming our way by the time we hit this upcoming weekend. Uh, yesterday was on the warm side. We didn't end up hitting 90 yesterday. We hit 89 here in Des Moines. Uh, but today I think we're going to be back up into the mid to upper 90s. The cloud cover will help us out a little bit later on this afternoon. Let's talk about talk about October though. New month temperatures, normal highs and lows at the beginning of the month in the low 70s overnight lows closer to that 49 degree mark. And then by the time we head into the end of October, our highs are only in the mid 50s and and overnight lows into the upper 30s by the end of the month. So uh, we've got some cooling down to do and we've been rather warm for the end of September, beginning of October, and we'll finally get some cooler fall like air on the way heading into the upcoming weekend. A couple of cold fronts will come through and kind of push out all of this warm air. Temperatures right now across the upper Midwest in the low 80s here locally. We're talking 82 out in Carroll, 83 up in Ames, 81 right now in Marshalltown. So it's a warm afternoon. Again, it's the filtered sunshine. There are clouds out out there and those will continue to push into the state here this afternoon and evening. A little bit of rain now showing up here on radar. This is out into far western Iowa out towards Omaha. A little bit of lightning and thunder with these storms. Nothing severe, but I think we'll see an uptick in shower and thunderstorm activity, especially in western Iowa late in the day today. And then if you're here in central Iowa, our rain chances come in the evening and overnight hours for a lot of us here in the metro area. So wind gusts today will also be breezy. We had this yesterday. I think today gusts continue to be upwards of 30 to 35 miles per hour through the afternoon and evening. That front comes through tonight and our winds will stay elevated here through tomorrow morning. This is Wednesday at 7 a.m. We still have gusts 10 to 15 miles per hour. They'll back off a little bit throughout the day on Wednesday and then be a lot calmer as we head into Wednesday into Thursday. So we've got some breezy conditions today, tonight and early tomorrow morning. The rain chances again a first kind of developing out towards western Iowa by late afternoon. This is around three and four o'clock. Notice they kind of lose their intensity uh, and coverage as they push into central Iowa. So we'll see what holds together and what we get overnight tonight. Clouds will stick with us through the start of the day on Wednesday and that rain pushes out of here fairly quickly and then we're back to more sunshine Wednesday afternoon and into the day on Thursday. And again, these fronts will be cold fronts that'll bring in some cooler air. Rainfall total is not that impressive for us here in central or really north central Iowa, maybe a few hundredths of an inch with the rain that comes overnight tonight. Let's fast forward, go into the weekend Friday 6 a.m. Notice the greens and the blues getting a little bit closer towards Iowa. We've got a push of chillier air that moves in by Saturday morning. Temperatures by Saturday morning could be in the upper 30s here across central Iowa. So there is the potential for a little bit of frost here as we head into the upcoming weekend. Today, though, far cry from the 30s. We're into the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. Tonight still stays mild. We're talking low to mid 60s overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, a little bit cooler. Highs in the mid to upper 70s across central and southern Iowa. Eight day forecast looks like this. 75 on Thursday. Pretty comfortable with sunshine there for Thursday. 60 on Friday. And then much cooler for the weekend. Upper 50s, close to 60 Saturday with those chilly overnight lows. And then upper 60s by Sunday and Monday of next week.